everywhere we go we hear sounds we hear people talking dogs barking cars passing by in the street and musical instruments even the leaves on a tree make a sound as they rustle in the breeze it would be much different without sound imagine being surrounded by complete silence you would not be able to talk to your friends or listen to music but what is sound what happens when a glass bottle breaks or a bird chirps that allows us to hear it this question people started asking thousands of years ago they noticed that everything makes sound they probably observed that the sound of something can be delayed for example when they saw lightning they often did not hear the thunder it caused until several seconds later they wondered why that was so for a long time nobody really understood what sound is aristotle a deep thinker who lived in ancient greece said that sound is carried by motion of air his idea was close to being the right answer today scientists have a complete understanding of sound they know that sound is the type of energy wave now we know to control sound and use it for our own good sound is produced by vibrations when you talk your vocal cords vibrate a violin string radio and hummingbird all make their sounds through vibrations these vibrations release energy the energy moves away from the sound source in the form of invisible waves when these waves or vibrations reach our ears our ears sense these vibrations and send electrical signals to our brain then we hear the sound even when you are speaking you can feel vibrations caused by touching your two fingers near your sound box activity let us take this large vessel we will fill it with water when i hit it on the side with a spoon i hear a sound you can also see waves on water as a result these waves are the result of vibrations generated due to the hitting of the spoon can we see these vibrations let us take a plastic container we will use music from our phone as a source of sound we will cut this balloon and close the opening with this membrane let us stick a small mirror on the membrane when laser light is projected on the mirror at an angle it gets reflected on the wall what does the reflected laser light look like it is not steady but moving randomly this is because sound played inside the container causes the membrane to vibrate which in turn makes the mirror vibrate if you don't have laser light you can use a flashlight from your mobile phone as well can you think of an alternative to the mirror for the same activity let us take two steel containers of identical size we will close one container with a thin plastic sheet let us put some mustard seeds on the sheet what will happen to seeds on the sheet when the second container is hit with the spoon seeds start to jump as a result of vibrations generated due to sound produced by the other container if you don't have a plastic sheet you can use a balloon instead instead of mustard seeds you can use salt as well sound waves spread in all directions these waves are carried by air molecules we can say that air is the medium that carries sound waves to our ears but air molecules do not really travel all the way to our ears they just pass this energy to their neighbors and it continues till it reaches our ears all sound waves must travel through some medium it can be gas liquid or solid summary we explored how sound is produced it is caused due to vibrations we could feel vibrations with the help of these activities these vibrations release energy the energy moves away from the sound source in the form of invisible waves 
How do these vibrations travel? Do these vibrations need a medium for travel? We will discuss this in the next video.